This guide shows you how to import photos from your camera into Picasa. If you haven't got Picasa installed in your system at present, you can see my previous guide which tells you how to download Picasa from www.picasa.com and install it to your computer. Firstly, if you're using Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 and you're working from the start screen, you can launch Picasa in one of two ways. Either by typing Picasa from the start screen and then clicking on Picasa from the right hand side of the screen. Or you can move your mouse over the desktop tile, left click the desktop and then double left click the Picasa icon on the desktop. If you're using any other version of Windows, you should already be in the desktop and therefore should be able to click Picasa from the desktop. Once again, just double left click Picasa. Picasa appears on the screen. The next thing you need to do is once Picasa is up on the screen is plug in your camera. Once your camera is plugged into the computer, you need to click on import in the top left hand corner of the screen. And as you'll see, it says connecting to device. Then it will start loading thumbnails of all the photos that are on your camera. If this doesn't appear, you may need to select your camera from this drop down above here. Hopefully your camera should be listed as your camera's model or the make or both as it is in my case. I have a Canon Ixis 65 and as you can see mine is listed as Canon Ixis 65. Now we need to select the photographs that we want to import into the computer. So as you can see on the left hand side here the photos are split into sections. There's a little clock beside each set of photos and this basically means that the photos were taken on the camera on different days. If you hold your mouse over the camera it tells us there that three photos were taken on the 19th of July 2013. These three photos here. If I move my mouse over the clock below the, the set of pictures I was at it tells us there these photos were taken on the 21st of July 2013 that refers to these photos here again if I hold my mouse over the clock below it tells us these were taken on the 21st of July 2013 but at a different time to these above so it tries to split the photos into what it thinks are groups if you want to select just the photos in that group to put into a certain folder, we can click once on the clock and as you can see, it highlights the photos. If we want to select more photos, we can just keep clicking on the clocks and that highlights even more photos. So for instance, these photos here are of a holiday in Turkey. So therefore, what we need to do is we need to tell Picasa exactly on the computer where we want to store these photos. All we do is we want to tell Picasa that we're going to import the photos into the My Pictures or the Pictures folder on our computer. That's already pre-selected for us there so we don't have to do anything here and we have to give the folder a name. In this case as these pictures that I've selected here are of my holiday in Turkey last year, I'll type the folder title as Turkey 2013. After copying, I want to leave the pictures on the camera. We do have an option here to delete only the copied photos from the camera or delete everything that's on the camera card. But I think just to be safe, let's select leave the card alone and we can manually delete the photos from the camera afterwards if we want to. So I'll leave the leave card alone option selected. Now down here on the right hand side, we've got three options here and that's to import all of the photos from the camera or we can just import the photos that we've selected. So I'm going to left click on 
all the import photos selected. As you can see there, there's a number six in brackets after the word import selected. And that's referring to the six photos that I've got selected there. So when I click on import selected, it will only import those six photos. If I clicked on import all, it would click, it would select all of the photos that I've got on the camera but I don't want to select all and, and I don't want to select and import all the photos on the camera because perhaps I might want to put different sets of photos that are on the camera in different folders so like I say I've selected these six pictures they're going to go to my pictures in a folder called Turkey 2013 after I've finished copying them to the uh, folder, I'm not going to touch the card. We're going to leave the, the pictures on the card. So the next thing to do is left click once on import selected. Now the pictures are being imported. And as you can see, just here, we've got Turkey 2013. And those are the six pictures that I've imported into the, um, into the computer. If I wanted to see these from outside of Picasa, I can close down Picasa and I'll just go into my computer there. And if I double click on pictures, as you'll see, it's created a folder called Turkey 2013. If I double click on this folder, these are the pictures that I imported earlier. Whilst you might be thinking they're both in Picasa and on the computer, surely I can delete one set of photos because I don't need them on there twice. No, this is wrong. Picasa has actually imported the pictures and put them in the pictures folder in a folder called Turkey 2013. If you delete any of these pictures from either Picasa or the Turkey folder 2013 in this case, you will delete from both locations. Don't think the pictures are on there twice, they're not. Picasa simply links to the, um, the pictures in the pictures folder. So like I say, don't delete them thinking you've got them on there twice, you haven't. Okay, so I'm just gonna close this down, go back into Picasa, and we're gonna import some more photos. So again, the camera's still plugged in, to the, uh, the computer so I if it's not plugged in in your case at this point then plug it back in wait a few seconds and then click on import in the top left hand corner here and as you see there connecting to device we've got the Canon X65 there saying it's importing from <clears throat> as you can see now these six pictures that I imported from earlier have got crosses in them red crosses and this basically tells us that these pictures have already been imported onto the computer using Picasa. So it's telling us that we don't need to import these again. Okay, so say if we wanted to import some more photos into our computer, and we've got a couple of photos here, and perhaps we didn't want to import all of these photos. Perhaps we only wanted to import one or two of the photos. What we can do is, we can hold down the CTRL key, which is on our keyboard. It's usually the key that's the, on the bottom row and the left of the keyboard. So I hold down the CTRL key, left click once on one of the photos that I want to, uh, to select to import into the computer. Keep the CTRL key held down. With it held down, I click on the next photo I want to import. So say if I wanted to import this photo here, but not these two, I've got the CTRL key still held down, so I left click once. And again, say if I wanted to import this photo on the end here, again, I've still got the CTRL key held down, so I left click on that photo once. Okay, now I can let go of the CTRL key. Now, once again, it's going to import the pictures into my pictures on the computer, and we need to give the folder that we're going to import these to a title. So in this case, these photos were taken in France. So if I give the folder title a name France, and they were last, they were in 2013, these were taken. So I type France 
2013. And again, I want to leave the pictures on the card. I don't want to delete the copied photos or delete everything else on the card. I'm gonna leave it alone. And down in the bottom right hand corner here, I've got again, options here to import all the photos. Well, I don't wanna import all of them. I only wanna import the three here that I've selected, the ones with the blue highlights around them. So as you can see there, I've got import selected and the number three after them. That confirms that I'm only importing three of the photographs. So I'm gonna click on import selected. So as you can see, those three pictures have now been imported into Picasa. And again, if I close down Picasa, and go into the pictures folder on my computer. If you're using Windows XP, this might be referred to as my pictures and some older programs may also refer to it as my pictures in Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. So I double click on pictures and as you can see now, there's a France 2013 folder there. Double click on the folder and there we have thumbnails of the pictures. If I double click on any of those pictures, it will actually open them up in a larger view for, for me to view. There we go, there's that picture, lovely looking fella there. Okay, I'm gonna come out of, uh, out of that and go back into the desktop. Close down this and we'll open up Picasso again. And I'm gonna import a few more pictures into the computer. So once again, I've got the camera plugged into the computer. Again, if you haven't got your camera plugged in, plug it in now. Wait a few seconds, perhaps five, 10 seconds, and then click on the import button. And hopefully it should automatically find the camera. So there you go, it's saying that it's importing from the Canon XS65. Okay, so as you can see from here, these three pictures from France have, um, have, been, uh, have a cross through them to tell me that I've um, already imported them to the computer. Now, say if, for instance, I wanted to import these other photos here, here, and here that I haven't imported already, which are to do with France, and I've thought, yeah, maybe I will import them now. Again, I can hold down the CTRL key, select the first picture, keep the CTRL key held down, highlight the second picture by left-clicking on it, hold down the CTRL key again and left-click the third picture and again hold down the CTRL key and left click the fourth picture. Now these photos are a part of the France 2013 collection. I want to add them to the France 2013 folder. So if I type in the folder title France 2013, okay, you'll notice that down here it's not letting me import the selected. That is grayed out. Right, this is basically because we already have a folder called France 2013, and this section here wants us to create, uh, it gives us the opportunity to create a folder. Now, it's refusing to do that because we've already got a folder called France 2013. So in this case, what we need to do is we need to click on the arrow next to my pictures and as you can see there's the France 2013 folder just there so we can select that and then delete France 2013 from the folder title and now we can click on import selected and these pictures should now be added there you go to the France 2013 folder Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to go back into import here. And the reason we need to go back into import is we just need to make sure that this import to has returned back to my pictures. And as you can see, it has returned back to my pictures. So that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Now, any of these photos here, if we're not sure, if we can't see them, via their thumbnails, if the thumbnails are too small, and you want a quick preview to see if these pictures are part of a collection that you want to, to add to, what you can do is you can left click once on the picture and it'll give you a preview on the right hand side there 
of the uh, of the photo just so that you can see before you go to import it you can see if this is the, the, the photo that you want and these pictures here like I say one more time as a, a last example these pictures were um, from the Dominican Republic so again if I want to to select those pictures to do with the Dominican Republic I can hold down the CTRL key keep it held down and select the photos that I want to put as the Dominican Republic in the Dominican Republic folder okay so we're going to click in folder title and I'm going to call it Dominican 2013 okay we're going to leave the card alone and oh I've just noticed here import selected and import all are greyed out uh -huh. right I've just realized why it's probably because I've already got a Dominican 2013 folder on the system and to check that I'm just going to click on the arrow next to my pictures and no it's not showing there so where is it so if we click on the word choose okay now it's taken us to the pictures folder I'm just going to click on this little arrow beside pictures uh, and there it is the Dominican folder is on underneath my pictures or pictures folder so we click once on Dominican and then we click OK and as you can see now Dominican is now in the import to drop down now I'm going to delete the word Dominican out of the folder title because otherwise it's going to confuse matters and I think what it's going to do is it's going to end up putting a folder inside a folder so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this Dominican 2013 okay I'll delete that and now as you can see here I can now click import selected so I'm just going to do that we'll click import selected and hopefully these pictures should be added to the Dominican 2013 folder and yes they are there we go and we can double check this on the computer that have gone into the Dominican 2013 by closing down Picasso again clicking on our folder down the bottom here double clicking pictures and double clicking on the Dominican 2013 folder and there we go there's all the photos in there once we've finished importing then we can disconnect the camera now the best way to disconnect your camera is to move your mouse down to the arrow just by the clock okay you'll see this little green tick down here right click on the green tick and look out for for your camera's name which is just here mine's Canon X65 yours might be something different so we left click on that and a message will come up safe to remove hardware you can now safely remove the camera so we can now unplug the camera if you can't remember how to do this the easiest thing to do is to shut your computer down wait for all the lights on the computer to go off and then unplug your camera and then you can switch your computer back on after and that's it 